This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the standard entropy change. So let's start by looking at the equation to calculate standard entropy change. So the standard entropy change of a reaction is equal to the sum of the absolute entropy values of the products minus the sum of the absolute entropy values of the reactants. Table 12 of the IB Chemistry Data Booklet has absolute entropy values for a range of different substances. The first point to note is that absolute entropy values are always positive, and the second is that the unit of absolute entropy is joules per Kelvin mole. Next, we'll calculate the standard entropy change for the reaction shown. In this reaction, N2H4, which is hydrazine, reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen and water vapor. So here we have the equation that we're going to use and we also have a table which has absolute entropy values for the reactants and products. So next we input the values into the equation, not forgetting to multiply the absolute entropy value by the coefficient in the balanced equation. This gives a standard entropy change of positive 244 joules per Kelvin mole. Note that the sign of the entropy change is positive because in the reaction one mole of liquid and one mole of gas have become two moles of gas. As you may recall from a previous video, gases have higher entropy than solids and liquids. In our next example, we'll calculate the standard entropy change for the Haber process. In the Haber process, nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. So here we have the equation that we're going to use, together with absolute entropy values for the reactants and products. Next, we input the values into the equation, making sure that we multiply the absolute entropy values by the coefficients in the balanced equation, which gives us a standard entropy change of negative 199 joules per Kelvin mole. The change in entropy is negative because in the reaction, four moles of gas have become two moles of gas, which is a decrease in entropy. So let's end with a summary. Here we have the equation to calculate the standard entropy change for a reaction. To do this, we use the absolute entropy values in table 12 of the IB Chemistry data booklet. Then we input the values into the equation, remembering to multiply by the coefficients in the balanced equation. When you get your answer, you should check that the sign of the entropy change corresponds to the change in entropy of the reaction. And finally, when using the equation delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, convert the change in entropy to kilojoules per Kelvin mole by dividing by 1000.